right, so we're standing in front of the Victoria Amazonica pool. And not surprisingly, this is where we really highlight tropical water lilies. A really fun group that we grow every year. They grow very quickly here in the summer. They love it hot. And then we replant them. And basically under the front, we have quite a few different hybrids with different colors and leaf shapes. Um, we do have a couple species. In the back, you can see a Victoria cruziana, which is what we're growing at the moment from South America, and then that's actual Asian relative, Uriale ferox. They're already getting pretty large. And they have an interesting story. When we think of water lilies, they are so different. And they're actually one of the oldest extant plant family in the world. So they actually date way back, and some of the oldest fossils look to be closely related to them. And they're from dating back even to the earliest uh, Cretaceous. So long before T-Rex, this is over 100 million years ago, they separated from the rest of plants, maybe even 120, 140 million years ago. And they have some really primitive, bizarre features. And one is the flower, which we all love, and this is great density. If you look at the petals, they're actually spirally arranged. But if you look at most flowering plants, like an iris or a um, hibiscus, really most flowers, they have the petals in a whirl, in a nice ring. These are spiral. It's a very ancient feature. And actually, when we open the flowers up, the petals kind of morph into stamens. It's not a clear separation. It's a very primitive flower. Um, so here's a show a collection, but there's really an ancient piece of plants, one of our oldest extant plant families here at the garden.